Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how you can create a video rendering of your project with the new Enscape version. Because the new version now features complex video paths. So as you may know, in the first version to create a video, you could set a start point and an end point and then it would take a, a linear path from the start point to the end point. But now, in the new version, we can have complex video paths with multiple points, so we can create beautiful videos just like this one. And today I'm going to show you how we can do that. Okay, so I've already opened up the project in Revit and in Emscape, and we're going to be working with those video tools right here to create a video rendering of our project. Now I always like to tell a bit of a story with those videos, so what I thought about was maybe show it from the perspective of somebody uh, walking towards the building in the morning, like somebody working at the facility, and then uh, the sun goes up and as you enter the building and then you walk up the stairs inside of the building to give a good uh, look around the building and then we switch to fly mode to get outside of the building and then give an overview of what the building looks like. So what we now need to do is go to that first position that I described. We switch to walkthrough and then we get onto the path, pathway, maybe a bit further towards the building. Okay, what's a good start angle? Maybe like this. And with shift and the right mouse button we can change the time of the day, so uh, we want something in the early morning but not too early, like 8 o'clock maybe. Uh, if you don't know, you can see the time in the bottom right corner here. Okay, so yeah, so this is a nice early morning atmosphere. So now we set our first keyframe. And then you see what happens is if we zoom out, we see that there has a, a little camera has appeared here and it turns green when you go on it. And if we click it, it opens up this key f keyframe editor where we see exactly the, the keyframe of what we just um, arranged. And now here we can change the time also, or we could change the the keyframe itself. Okay, but we want to leave it the way it was. And then we go to the second setting. So we want to walk towards the building. And then it should look like this. So we add another keyframe. And then you can see this pathway here was created. And then we could check out every keyframe on the way if we click on it. You see, you see this is, would be an in-between keyframe, but we don't need to edit those. We only need to edit the last one to a later time. Yeah, maybe like this. Okay. So let's now go inside the building. Maybe let's add another keyframe here. And now we want to turn around and go to the bottom of the stairs. So this is where we add another keyframe. And then we want to turn around to go up the stairs. So, nope. So I add another keyframe and now we want to take a look at what the video looks so far. So we go to camera path and then preview video. So this is what it looks like. And so what we see uh, we need to change the daytime of the first frame because it didn't save the early morning setting. 
and then also we need to edit the path a bit because we're transitioning through the wall now. Okay, so if we take a look back at our path now, we can see that here it transitions through the column, which is not very nice. And then here you can see how it doesn't go through the entrance. Okay, so I will fix the errors in the path, maybe by adding another keyframe in the doorway. And then I will finish off the path and then, then I'll see you again when I'm done. Okay, so I've finished editing the path. Let's take a final look at it before we export the video. Okay, so I think it is going a bit too fast. So I'm going to change the speed maybe. Ooh, but I like this romantic sunset. Okay, so we go to settings and here under capture, we can change the camera speed. So we want to make this a bit, a little bit slower. Save it and then we can close it. And also we can save our camera path and then load it again to, if we want to use it again. But now if we're happy with the path and all the settings, we can export the video. Now you can see how Enscape is creating the video frame by frame. So this is going to take a while. So that was it. I hope you liked this video. I can definitely recommend the new Enscape version. Also check out uh, the video that I made last week in which I explain all the other cool features that the new version has. And then see you um, next Monday with another video.